Oh, hi. I'm Tim. Tim Nyberg. I'm an artist. Uh, happy to be showing here at Participation Gallery and Studio, or Studio and Gallery. I don't know which way they have it. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's really cool for me because I am, uh, normally I was a commercial artist my whole career. I was an illustrator, designer, um, graphic designer, and I've done a lot of logos, a lot of book covers, a lot of uh, oh, ad advertising. A lot of it appeared in uh, Door County. A lot of the logos you still see around Door County here I created. Um, so that's not even necessary to know, is it? I don't know, maybe. So I, I've been drawing ever since I could hold a pencil or a crayon or whatever the case may be. Uh, in fact, here's a portrait I did of myself when I was uh, three years old. And uh, it, is, it says, this is me by uh, Timmy, but I kind of spelled it inside out and backwards. My folks used to call me Emmett because of the way I wrote my name. Uh, but anyway, I remember the day still when my dad taught me how to uh, shade with a pencil and that just opened up a whole new uh, avenue for me. I, so I was drawing and doing shading and stuff and this was before I was even in kindergarten. And uh, right after college, I went into the publishing business with a small publishing company that did all the arts magazines in the Twin Cities. I was designing the uh, uh, Guthrie Theaters programs uh, the public television channel uh, magazine, uh, Minnesota Opera, uh, Minnesota Orchestras magazine, all these things. And after about a year and a half of designing those and doing some illustrations, I decided I can do this on my own. When the fax machines and the um, modems came about, I thought I can do this remotely. So we moved back to uh, Sister Bay, which is where my wife was from and, and her uh, whole extended families up there and, and then I proceeded to pretty much go broke because <laughs> it's it, I was ahead of my game there uh, so I did a lot of uh, to get grocery money I do um, sketches of people car uh, characters if you will at the Sister Bay Bowl for all the people waiting in line figured out eh, we're not quite ready to retire yet so back in the Twin Cities uh, we, um, I was doing the graphic design, the illustration for, you know, a lot of big ad agencies and uh, uh, magazine publishers and whatnot. And then I happened into a little sidetrack of writing the duct tape books, which we did, uh, you know, seven books total, the duct tape books. And with Julie's brother, Jim, uh, who some of you might know in Door County here, um, Jim Berg, we went around the country doing duct tape stand-up comedy based on our books. And that got us through the next 19 years. Uh, oh, when I got done with the duct tape thing, it finally f kind of fizzled out after 19, 20 years, but I was ready for it too. I had already started doing some painting of my own. Instead of having an art director telling me what to paint and or what to illustrate, I got to finally do my own thing. So. I, uh, it became fast and furious because I was used to meeting advertising deadlines. So I painted really fast. I, I do all acrylic on canvas. It dries quickly. I know how to work with it. And uh, I got so many paintings, I thought I got to open a gallery. So I opened Gallery 42 in Judville. And uh, that lasted about mm, four or five years. And then I moved it down to the uh, Fairfield building and uh, played out another couple years and then we moved back to the Twin Cities again because their grandkids started popping out. So this is Tim from the uh, yet to be named pub which is right adjacent to my hideously messy studio over there. Oh I wanted to leave you with one quote. This is one of my favorite quotes from, about art from uh, Pablo Picasso. He said, God is only really another artist. He invented the giraffe, the elephant, the cat. He really has no real style. He just goes on trying other things, which is kind of what I do. Hence the uh, variety in my artwork, and I'm okay with that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy my art and the other art here at Artisipation Gallery, and I uh, hope to meet you in person someday soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.